Hello, this is Viquinox, and welcome to part 10 of my Oblivion playthrough. And I finally hit level 9, and we have to go find our friend, Earthor. We left him in the forest somewhere, hopefully he's not getting knocked out repeatedly. And yeah, before we do all that though, I want to get our cash up. Looking at the inventory space, we got some cash. Why don't we just brew a feather potion so we can loot all this stuff? Get a quick one made. Nice quick alchemy level as well. Okay, we're gonna take everything here. And then we're going to go purchase all the stuff as well. Like we usually do to get our money up and then we can go train at some point. Um, another thing too. We're going to go to Coral and then we'll bring Earthor home. But we're gonna get this Finger of the Mountain and I'm really hoping it changes our combat stuff because we've mostly been relying on Earthor and I know for sure it's not gonna like completely shake things up for us, but it should be decent. And we're also gonna go find Martin on the way because Kavach is just the next town over, so we might as well go. Aw oh, dude, Skuma, bomb. Let's get that. And a silver bowl, good. We could flip these daggers, I suppose. Steel war axe, so I flip that. Okay, we got plenty of encumbrance. Hello, associate. How about mixing up some potions? You we have to purchase a few things from her as well. Is this? A, how lucky is that? I was not expecting to see that. It's not Tamika, is it? That? No. Nah, okay, we can sell one. That's some super rare stuff right there. You rarely see those 399s. I wonder how this game actually determines the random loot tables. I wonder what that's about. Okay, let's snag everything in the basement for the time being. got to snag that one septum. You can't go wrong. I'd never take these. I could use them for just making cash eventually, but two weight is too much. Flip that beer as well, screw it. Okay, that's just about everything. I could go into the Fighters Guild as well. I think they may have some things here and there. And the travel time is really gonna take up a lot of this episode. There's gonna be a lot of walking involved here. We gotta go pretty far north. Okay, let's check in here. I think there's some soul gems and other random things. can't search this desk. I guess it doesn't have any uh, cabinets on it. Bone meal, not worthwhile at all. This piques my interest, but I don't know what it does, so I'm not going to take it. I had taken it in the past, and then I kind of threw it into my key chest, and I lost it. So I'm going to leave it there, and then eventually I'll search on the internet what that key goes to, and perhaps, just maybe, we'll find a treasure or something like that. Alright, we're not going to unlock that. Chances are it's just some basic loot anyhow. Okay, we were just about to get over-encumbered, weren't we? I think we got just about everything in here. Let's go sell some stuff to the alchemist. Greetings, high elf. Is he still chilling? Yeah. <clears throat> what are you doing? Just staring in the corner? 
I don't know if that amulet actually fixed her mental health or if she's actually thoroughly having fun. Seems like she's just kind of spacing out. Hello, associate. Same with you. You're just staring in this corner. Nice to meet you. Uh, can you open your shop at some point? May all your travels be safe. You're taking your sweet ass time, that's for sure. It is currently 10 p.m. Okay. Evening. That was the problem. It's too late to even purchase anything. Let's go back in here and we'll catch some Z's. We're gonna have to brew up another carry weight potion. Agata, sleeping in the same bed as me. Can't complain. Okay, let's just make a quick one. Here, and here. She's still passed out. I hope this dark elf lady doesn't pull what she's doing and sleeps until like the late afternoon or something. What is it, associate? That guy has a quest to give, but it's kind of far out. I'll come back for it later. I could accept it now and then get around to doing nice it. Nice to meet you. But I don't want my quest journal to have too much stuff. For you, of course. Okay, Man, she already likes me at max. Apprentice Calcinator. Uh, let's push it to 66. See what happens. Okay, we're gonna purchase all of her ingredients. A fun. I haven't seen some of these before, actually. Hi. You're a fine negotiator. There's like a couple of uh, different ingredients there. Some of their effects are just not I worthwhile, though. At all. Oh, an excellent. I could use this for feather potions. A bargain. Okay. That's just about everything, I think. You're a fine negotiator. Okay, let's flip some cash, or flip her some stuff for cash. So we already have the Apprentice Calcinator. She had one of those on deck, but we don't need it. How about this? Fine transaction. Have... Okay, we do not. And that's a good deal. Potion of Fortune. Skuma. Should we keep the Skuma? Let's keep the Skuma and like play around with the character for a bit. I know you can restore your I'd... messed up attributes, and that's like the only downside to Skuma. It really messes your shit up, but eventually you can fix it. Okay, we'll keep one, and all these. That's it. You've made a good bit. You've made a May all your travels be safe. Okay, let's go to the inns. I could also go to the Fighters Guild, actually. Let's actually loot everything here first. I signed up with them, so all their things are open to me. Yeah, all their silver items. This is actually like one of the more rich Fighters Guild in the game. Most of them have pewter or clay items. This one, they actually went with a lot of decent cash grab items. For me, of course. There's nothing going to be left for them. Useful. Another 399. You know what? On my last character, I thought that stuff was rare, but I must be mistaken. The Tamika one is the only one that's eluding me now. See what's in the basement. Probably just a ton of containers. Yeah, nothing much really. We can sell these. 
Inventory is 20 down. Also, we have all those daggers. Do you think I should come back for these weapons just to sell them? It's not a bad price tag on the steel shield, I must say. I don't want to waste too much time doing this this episode, so I won't do that. Let's just get the alchemy stuff and then go. Try and get our XP up. It's the only thing I really care about. Pair hammers, always useful. Okay, let's go back up. This is a really useful swordsman. I usually go to her for training until eventually she can't train you no more. And then this is a place you can go to if you want almost a full set of free steel armor. Chests, calipers, there's tons of calipers. And a lot of locked doors. I don't know what's up with the people who have the the keys here. But usually everything's open to you. I'm not gonna take another dagger. Okay. The final room, we're nearly there. 86. Can we get away with all the silverware here? I think we can. Yeah, we're good. We're good to go. No! No! I said that. We went one over. Okay, we're gonna drop this. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm not coming back. Screw it. Good to see you. Well. Uh, let's go back to the Mages Guild. She's kind of like a general store trader, wouldn't you say? The only thing she doesn't really accept is swords and weapons and armor. Otherwise, she's got all bases covered. Nice to meet you. I have potions and everything you need to make your own. Okay, we don't need this. A good pro Or that. I don't remember oh, getting those buy. other ones. I don't know how they got there. A good price for cheap wine. Maybe we could do Numira's mission. Deal, I think we're just the right level for it. We'll get to it at some point. That's a good deal. And then all these random miscellaneous items. Enjoy. You, you've made it. Your travels be safe. All right, let's go to a inn. I think there's the three sisters, and then there's the Argonian run how inn. Are you today? How about you? We'll go to this one first. What is the name of this one? Five Claws Lodge. I like this character. Welcome, stranger, to the Five Claws. Food and beds, cheap and good. But most of all, your hostess promises always clean. Witsudutsi gives you her guarantee. Everything, clean, always, or you do not pay. Witsudutsi, quite the name. Say what you're going to say. Okay, she likes these two, I think? Don't make me sh what you're wasting your breath. Oh. What a wonderful compliment. You're a big sh is that so? You're wasting your breath. You're waste mm, blah blah blah. That's not bad. Can I interest you in some of my ways? 415. She doesn't sell any 399. Chances are no one sells any 399. All right, let's push our luck here. Door trying. 62. I let that. Not half bad. I our haggling that. XP. Does it actually go up by how effective I you are with the bar? Cheaply. Or does it only go up if 
you make a sale and a purchase. It's probably the latter. Knowing this game. You drop. I will. Exit. Okay, let's peace out. Good day. She has stuff still in stock, but chooses not to sell it? I wonder why. Decoration? No, that wouldn't make any sense. So we can go train up with that guy when the time comes. We're gonna brew all these potions en masse and then sell it to the alchemist. And then we're gonna hit the road. And it's been like 15 minutes, I think, thus far. Well, you found the three sisters. Beds and food. Not cheap, but you get what you pay for. I'm Shuravi. The sister that works and worries. Shamada is sweet and decorative. Shomara is dumb as a post, but she can cook, at least. Go ahead. Being dumb as a post has its benefits. Maybe you don't acknowledge pain what? as much as the average. Not bad. Not... What nonsense. Yeah, I get it. Good one. Don't talk such rot. Yeah, I doubt it. Don't try to manip. What? I see. Only quality. Okay, 62 again? I mean, she likes us just a bit more than what's a dootsie, so let's test and see if we can get away a with fine this. fine bargain. Alright, 66? Asking too much? You're trying. Okay. So if you get to 60, you probably aim for 64. I like that her ears went back up when we got a decent sale. Uh, or purchase. You. And it. That's. A. Pleasure. Alright. Now let's go Be to the, the Mages Guild. We're going to brew all these fatigue potions and maybe some others and then yeah we'll get rich that guy I'll talk to him in a bit I like his character really well written in my opinion okay let's get this going wait a second okay yeah novice novice I'm gonna have to find the other two Actually, let's check in with her. Did I? Nice to meet. Did I accidentally May I sell? you in some of my fine wares. Let's look at that. No, I didn't. I was having second thoughts. You could use these for restore health. I think I will use those for that purpose. Carrot, corn. So pretty much if they have the same number, I usually just try to get them together and then make the potion. But if it's like crazy amounts more, then I save that for last and then whatever miscellaneous numbers I have, then I'll combine those instead. Seems like we don't have seven. We have plenty of two. Okay, let's do that instead. Anything else? Two and two? Yes. Flax seeds. Okay, how about we do this? Rice? Good. Flour. Those as well. Okay, we'll save the sweet cakes for other things. And then let's make some healing potions. Okay, that should do. Nice to meet. May I interest you in some of my I fine wares? I did a ton of working out today. I'm kind of like 
feeling groggy. Not like exactly seems completely a tired, person. but I do feel drained in real life. Did like three hours of exercise. That's a fair. Really, really That's fatigued me. me. That's more than I'd usually pay. Okay, that should be good enough. We got so much money now. Let's go uh, rank up. May all your travels be safe. Get our armor looking good. But yeah, um, the current state of things, we're going to be getting our cash focus out of the way early this episode. And then we have so much to do after that. We have all these epic quests to get invested in, so I'm kind of hyped for that. And also, you can't pass up on all this healing. The dividing line, because you... Wait a second, he doesn't train? But he, he does sell my talk. weapons. He said any Argonian can kick any Khajiit's butt to breakfast any day of the week. <laughs> you believe that? I think he's wrong. I know Khajiit can kick Argonian butt. Anytime, anywhere. And you can tell everyone I said so. Okay, perfect. Knowledge is the key to success in no. any endeavor. You can't train, for real? Unbelievable. You too. Okay. What can I do for you? Take my weapons. May I interest you in some? Enjoy these weapons. 64 may be too much. Say what you're going to say. Can't tell. Okay, I not think now. he <laughs> prefers those I can't those argue two. with that. Not. Uh, I salute you. Most impressive. Not. I salute oh, you. This is a difficult choice. That's I enough. messed that one up for sure. Eh. Uh, don't. Gracious. What a hear. That's enough. Uh, don't try to manipulate me. Okay, let's get these ones uh, out the way and then do that. That's enough. <laughs> that was Not a perfect lineup. I salute game. you. Persuasion, wheedling, cajoling, and coercing are all tools of speechcraft. They are tools you seek to excel in. You are now an apprentice of speechcraft. When persuading a character, you now get one chance to rotate the response wedges without having to select an action. That's awesome, dude. Have a look Super at my helpful. wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Um. We're actually gonna keep the broken axe. We like our axe. That's just not. You need to make a. Damn, man. 60? Really? Alright, have it. Stingy. You've got a great deal there. Okay, we're good to go. Let's peace out. Goodbye. And we have to find Earthor. I was expecting him to at some point enter one of these interiors when I went in, but I must have forgotten to tell him to follow. I got the dialogue. I remember it vividly. I remember complaining about him saying the same thing again. And then he ended up following, right? Or maybe he just chose to stay. I can't really figure it out. We'll go back to the location, though. It's better safe than sorry, right? I do love Leowin, and the house here isn't half bad if you buy it. But the area itself, like walking the road here, how they designed it, it looks good to me. I'm not going to spend any time killing anything. I'm just going to continue. So in two more levels, we can shift our focus of attributes to speed. And when we have to do traveling like this, it'll be way better on the time scale. So I'm actually looking forward to that. And the athletics gain, I just train mostly. If you had seen my last character, I always purchase to train athletics, and even when my speed hits 100, I'll still continue to train until my athletics is mastered. Just because having all that extra stuff with running and being able to just go far in a short amount of time will make these episodes jam-packed full of action and interesting things. So it is much preferred that we play like that. can never pass up some loot, even if it does just seem like vegetables in the garden. It's always much more than that to me. 
We're talking, what, 30 a pop for each potion now? We're getting tons of money. Also, I got a lot of repair hammers. I was thinking, actually, that we bite the bullet and we just use that armor training. But then, once I'm done with that, I'm going to just level it. I was saying, oh, I'll save the XP for when I hit 99, but that's not going to happen. I decided that an effective way to level up destruction and also get armorer up was to make a on-self-cast disintegrate armor spell. And with that armor spell completely destroying my armor, I can just repair hammer consistently. I don't know what scale I should set it to, if it's better, if it's like low cost, or I should just have it super high cost and then do the training at the way stations. Whoa, that was that was a respectable ambush. Like literally that was a real life ambush. Uh where is the the way shrine? Dude, leave me alone. He hopped out that bush real fast. He gut slammed me with that hammer. Uh what was I saying though? Um, I feel like even if it's high cost, it's okay with me if we do the way shrine thing. And if we get infamy, we can just focus on training up in Breville instead because the lucky old lady is always useful. There's no uh, gods that decide if you're wicked or if you are holy. They just leave you to your own devices. Alright, here's our Thor with a bunch of dead corpses around him. Who would have thought such a freaking small man in a freaking doublet would cause so much chaos and murder? I would not expect that. Ow. He's really avidly trying to kill me. You know, I could have used you earlier, Earthor. I really could have. Should I take this axe? How much carry weight? No. No, my carry weight's looking bad. I hope we'll get to Skingrad soon. Follow me, dude. I'll be right behind you. Maybe that was a problem. Maybe when I talked to him, I told him to wait. I misread. I can't wait to be back in skin ground. Safe and safe. And misclicked. Okay, he's following us again. Perfect. Okay, up to the Imperial City. Actually, I could go straight to Coral. They have an armorer trainer there, so we might as well go. Thinking about it, I have my character sheet. Okay, I haven't really memorized how many skill gains I got, and I wasn't even paying attention to the amount of alchemy I had gotten up either. So I'll have to check. But we finally unlocked all the effects for every single ingredient, so we're kind of getting like random potions made. And also another thing too, we're starting to get uh, the ability to cast even better summons. So maybe soon we'll go back up to Breville and get that super overpowered oh, summon here. Get the really overpowered Jamora Lord. And he should help us. Dude, you're getting wrecked. Okay, let's summon him a bit closer. Right at you. Bopper, dude. Smacker. Good to have you back, Earthor. I missed you, dude. You'll never take me down. Nice. Dwarven items are starting to get unlocked. I need to remember. Did I did I buy all that? Okay, I do have every single piece of fur armor. Eventually, the scaling you can't find that stuff as common as you could, even from vendors. They just tend not to sell low tier items if you start out leveling. So we have everything we need, no worries. And I'm trying to remember when ebony armor starts getting put out into the world on bandits and other marauders or whatever. We have to look that up. I know on the wiki they have some info on that. So I'll try to like go exploring a ton and raid a ton of different camps or dungeons or whatever. Eventually, we'll get some armor. I do know that there is a quest tied to one of the forts outside of Anvil, and there's so many marauders in there. So there may be a decent chance that we get a full set from that place. 
But the thing about Marauders is, is they don't usually wear helmets. So even if you do kill them, they will be holding out on us if we do try to get some headgear. Okay, there's Breville in the horizon, just over this hill. I'm gonna get these... Oh, never mind. I already snagged every single one. Two bandits right outside the town. Does anyone not defend this? It's kind of crazy to me. I hope Earthor is still falling behind. Yeah, he is. Is his skills improving? Is that a thing? He seems a bit faster to me. What if that was a thing? What if he has his own separate skills? I actually have to look that up. He seems fast now. He's been running just as much as we've been running. Before, we would not have been able to see him. Nice, keep it up. You got him on the ropes. Not half bad. Okay, get the summon in. Dude, what if? If I don't turn in Earth War ever, and I just accept the fact that maybe I should use the tower instead to do enchanting? How far do you think he would go with his athleticism? He seems faster. I'm gonna have to go back to the first episode when we got him. But he seems kind of fast. I mean, damn. Who's to say that NPCs don't have the ability to improve themselves if you can improve yourself? What if, like, Martin is already, like, a hundred skill in destruction and, uh, blade, and he can just demolish everything so easily because he's already, like, pretty much the chosen one in the game? Yeah, he's keeping up with me, dude. Okay, well, that's enough about Earthor. I don't want to, you know, fanboy over him too much. These, uh, cattails... What is the proper name for these things? Bullrush? Yeah, it's Bullrush. A common Bullrush. You can't take them, though, but in real life you can use them for something, I'm sure. Okay. I wonder why they have that bridge there. Do you think you could actually get a ship in between these rocks to enter? Maybe it's the canal system. That's the only reason. There's a quest tied into that place. I'm not gonna go do it. Okay, we're gonna walk on past Breville. There's no reason to stop in here. I probably could have swam up. Do you think I should swim up? Yeah. Let's stop at this way shrine and then we'll go into the river and then swim into Lake Rumere. Wow, there's two bears just chilling right there. If you're trying to level heavy armor or light armor, that'd be a gift in disguise. But to me right now, it's kind of looking sketchy, depending on how fast they run. Bears don't swim, right? I'm not catching salmon. Definitely not catching me. Quick, quick, quick. Go. Go, go, go. Alright, I'm not sure if I want to aim for a level up this episode. I just want to get the quest started and at least try to get the spell. I do know I got a electric spell, so I can actually get the 
requirements, but I don't have a welkin stone. That's something I'm missing. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Well, we may have to change that, won't we? I have an idea. There's a place with guaranteed welkin stones. All I need is one. Okay, screw it. You know what? Let's remember this. Okay, I can't actually repair right now with enemies. Eventually we'll be able to repair, right? No. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to actually save time. I'm not going to level up my heavy armor as much. I'm going to just push it to the next level, but then buy the rest of the other levels in armor. So that should be six levels of armor. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is weighing us down. And even then, only two broke. I was expecting more. Okay, armor 62. What, at level 70 they stop training? And then they tell you to go find the master trainer? I think the armor one is really convenient. He's located in the Imperial City. So we'll make sure to go talk to him. Dude, that mountain range. My goodness. I love going to... Bruma, and then they have all the paths on the very top of the peaks, and then they have like those like drawbridges or whatever, those, um, I guess they're not really drawbridges, what are they called? The rope bridges, they hang, and you go running across those and everything. There's also that really hidden Daedric shrine tucked away to the west. I never actually completed that quest in my life. Because the prerequisite for that quest has nothing to do with levels. It all has to do with being able to do every other Daedra quest to unlock that Daedra quest. And it drives me crazy. So, I never actually completed that one. 100%ing this is more of a challenge I've imposed on myself. Like, I could just play through the game all nonchalant and be like, Alright guys, I did the main quest. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Go fuck yourself. Or, I can do this, and I can try to, like, find all these hidden things, all these uniques, level up to the, ba the best of my ability, and not only that, but I can also get sutra super ultra powerful. I can get crazy spells. I can get all these um, weapons and armor. I can go beyond the normal playthrough means. You know, I can get invincibility. I can be super absorption to all the spells thrown in my direction. Like, there's nothing that can stop me. It's gonna be fun. I love playing like this. And the, the stories, the side quests, and even, like, being hostile. Like, we can kill some of these NPCs if they have uniques on them. We can kill them and get the uniques, stash it away so no one could ever find it. And then we'll be sitting on a gold mine, pretty much. Okay, so Vilverin is just up ahead. We discovered it when we first left the tutorial. So we're gonna go in here. Earthor, I don't know if he's behind us, but there's no way he could keep pace if he's not swimming. So if he's running on the streets and running into every mob, you know he's gonna be stopping the kill. However, we're going to try our best to survive this. I'm going to use some attacks, I think. So let's get these on board. 
Hakeed. Should I use another one? Alright, let's see how good two is. I've been hit? No, no, no. Okay. Some passive healing. Come on, wrecker, wrecker. Put her down, dude. She's just literally staring at me non-stop. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh yeah, this archer is getting smoked. Easy mode. Actually popped a potion? Props to you, dude. Okay, so in here... There is... Welkin stone. Tons of it. Crazy amounts. There's also a bandit, chillin'. Let's poison him a bit. This is more of a side objective for me. Do I have to do this? No. Do I want to? Why the hell not? I'm just warming up. Come on, poison, kick in. Uh oh, uh oh. Are you serious right now? You die. Nice move. Seems like he's getting health back for a moment there. Okay, take the items. What do we have here? Should I use fire? No, I'm gonna use that for the big top dog dude. That guy, he is super powerful. And then how about a restore magicka for the time being? Nice, good hits, good hits. Get in there, get in there. Scamp is running away. This isn't half bad. Got all the, the alchemy we could ask for as well. So this room's a bit complicated. There's a welcome stone, but there's a lot of bandits. Ridiculous amounts. We will use our low level one on this chick. Okay, she's aggroed on me. Step aside. Now you will know pain. Quick, quick, quick. Earthor, you showed up just in the nick of time. I think we've really gotten the balance of power in our favor here. Come on, get him, get him. You know, I was gonna use a fire poison on this guy, but I don't think it's necessary anymore. He's got an enchanted item as well. Where is that? Greaves of the Cat. Curse of Protection. Resist normal weapons. Resist magic. This is really good, actually. We can get a decent price out of this stuff. Of course I'm over-encumbered. Okay, I'm gonna stop into the Imperial City, actually, and flip some of this for some cash. Uh, where was that one thing I bought that had the ability... There it is, feather. Let's just use those. Okay, use this potion, and then bam. We should be able to get to the Imperial City with all this carry weight. That was a lucky find, though. Three enchanted pieces of armor on one guy. It's not very common. Also, there's chests and other things. Earthor. Mess her up, dude. Up, you pathetic worm. He actually decided to throw some shade in her direction, too. There's also some hidden up here. So while Earthor is distracted with the enemy, I'm going to snag these. Yeah, there's a lot. There is a mini boss here, too. 
if you go through the entire dungeon. Wait, what? Did Earthor just sling that spell? That was new, dude. i never seen him do that. Okay, let's help him out here. He can't carry all this weight. There's no way. Show me what you've got. Getting some decent damage. What's the matter? Getting tired. Why won't you die? Run away! Dude, he's giving up. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna help you, Earthor. Hold on, hold on. Yes, good moves. Take that! Okay, let's not pull any more aggro, please, Earthor. We can avoid combat for now. Then thumbs up to you. Let's actually get some more Magicka going. Actually, damn, that wasn't necessary. There's a Magicka well right outside the door. Are you serious? Because this magical glow says otherwise. And it's nighttime right now? Unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna actually send it to the Imperial City. We're gonna stop in there, we're gonna sell this stuff to Rashida, and we'll train up with her. Just because she has the highest gold pool of anyone, I think. Actually, her name's not Rashida. I always forget her name. So close to Rashida, like the other armor. Okay, just over this hill, right, is the shopping district. Actually, no, it's right here. Also, I want to look at this. Curse of Protection. I don't want to wear any light armor yet. Mainly because if I get hit, then it will upgrade my speed. And I decided I was not going to upgrade armor even when I'm leveling up my speed. Just because I want my acrobatics and athletics to go up instead. And I think I'm going to use it for hollow levels. So that when I actually just have like miscellaneous attributes I'm trying to improve. Like for instance agility or willpower. I can use those empty levels. Oh, whoops. on door. To get even more HP and stuff. And I don't have to like actually worry about the attribute being affected and wasted uh, skill ups and all that. Hail! What can I do for you? Good day. Well met. Okay, we rest for the night. Actually, I saw the Divine Elegance woman. She looks pretty cool. Another High Elf. I've been keeping note of what High Elf is what. Just because we're one of them, you know? We gotta represent the homies. Okay, I made that second potion. I knew this was gonna happen. So let's go. Earthor. Morning. What's up, dude? We should just do some triathlon shit. See if he can actually swim. And then we'll go north to south, up the river, repeatedly. Okay, a fighting chance. Um... What did I want to sell? These items. Okay. Go ahead. Also, train Let's me up. Let's get to training. Pay attention. 600 a pop. Let's get to... You've got a lot. Let's see if we can't teach. Knowledge is power. Okay, we were at 3k. Have a look around. Maybe these you won't items find better we just got all Tamri can get us That's back a fair to 3k. Deal. Oh yeah. It was close, but it was no cigar. Nearly there. And weapons. Okay. You too. Let's check in with the feed bag. I want to see if their stock got resupply. 
Uh, it looks like it did. Put on the... May I interest you in some Perfect. of my... thank you. Apprentice, okay. We'll leave it as is. You're a f pleasure. You fair. How do you? Yes. What can I interest you in? He also sells. Let's get him a few items here. Flesh. You bought that for me. Fine. Fine. Uh, Water Malone. We see. Goodbye. Okay, let's go to Coral. That's enough stuff. I say that, but on my mind, I know. I want more vegetables. I want more fruit. It's an odd thing to say, but I want it, nonetheless. Actually, before we actually go, though, let's see if this alchemist has the apparatuses we're missing. I have everything for the budding alchemist. I have potions and she everything does. you need to make your own. We need what will it be? Alembic and Pastel. Well, we got an Alembic, luckily. Wait, did I buy the wrong one? Just my luck. Had tunnel vision or something. Just completely missed it. Okay, we'll buy your stock, too. You're a f Pleasure. Restore health. I let that go. That's a Paralyze. Okay, I was looking I for that. Make that deal with just I can anybody. finally make a poison that paralyzes. Thank goodness. Uh, what else? Pleasure. You I should probably restock on healing stuff and poison stuff. Because I did have to fight those bandits. So let's keep our eyes peeled. Yeah, none of this really is damaging. This is. You drunk. This is good. Spittle. You drive a. You drive. You drive a hard bargain. Troll fat? No, thank you. Okay, and these. Troll fat does Pleasure damage, doing but it's just you. a bit too much for me. Take care. It's almost been an hour. I can hardly believe it. So you know what? When we get to Coral, I'm going to call it an episode, okay? We got six levels dedicated to our endurance this episode. And then we just have to farm up the rest. Easy enough, right? Go ahead. Let's do business. No Tamika. I... I wouldn't make that deal. I feel like my mercantile should be definitely higher at this point. You that's that you Bye. Goodbye. Alright, we'll also go here. I like this guy's in the most. Just like his dialogue and the thrones and all that. Welcome to the King and Queen Tavern. This word. We treat all our patrons like royalty. I'm Le Marillin, your loyal Seneschal. Have a look at my wares. Seneschal is a guy who sits in the throne. Of course, I don't see him sitting in you. Ever. What? Fine. We're still not over encumbered. Oh, I say that. It's because of our feathers keeping us afloat. That's the only reason. What is it, citizen? How 
for you. Okay, here's a final place, the hotel. Then we'll send it across the bridge, and then you know how I roll. We gotta go into the inn. We gotta buy everything. It's just how I operate. What can I do for you? Have a look around. Useful. A a so, here is an idea. Also, that I'm going to be getting mods, and I was thinking about recording sessions of that's a Skyrim together with my friend. We were going to do a playthrough. Now, here's a thing about that. It's glitchy. You There's no guarantees the game will work all the time. And there will You're be lots of crashes. And there may be, like, Bye. some texture problems. Like, it won't be, like, the base game. But I think it would be fun to play and record. And uh, shoot the breeze with my friend here and there. And you know, level up and all that. I feel like that'd be a great time. So, that would be the objective for me. I was thinking about doing that maybe this Friday? I'll keep you posted on it. Is there anything that just has one? It would seem not. Okay. That stuff is still too heavy. Ugh. We're gonna get bogged down at some point, aren't we? What is it, Sid? We can make another feather potion if need be. I just want to reach coral sooner than later. But yeah, um, I was thinking I have mods in mind. So I wanted to make a unarmed character on that. I wanted to like punch things to death. And I was kind of teetering between being a magician who specializes in burning stuff or a punching character. And I decided the punching because there is mods in that game, like ordinators. Uh, what is it? Skill trees? He has this one tied into light armor, and it boosts your, your melee damage. What happens is, is you can also get magical effects on your fists. So I was thinking that I would try to, like, push the envelope and become the best melee fighter in the game. So, yeah, that's just an idea. So, welcome to the one. Have a look at my wares. I would have a fine journey. Okay, I was being a bit of a space cadet. I was actually thinking that was the road I had to go through. Okay, there's a minute remaining before the hour turns, so I'm just going to stop the clock, and when we get there, we get there. And then I will end the episode. But we got pretty much all of our money back, and I know for sure that when we make these potions, we'll have even more. And what's the chances that the Odil farm has actually gotten its regrown farm stuff again? We're just gonna get so much money off of the carrots alone. But I had a great time and being able to completely vaporize my enemies now with that magical spell, it's gonna be good. There's only two ways this can go, right? Either it's gonna completely demolish everything or it's just gonna be the the NPCs on my side who are going to carry the team to victory. Earthor or Martin or hell, even my own imp. They'll hit harder than me all the time. It's to be expected. talk so much when I record this, it's nice to just look at the surroundings and listen.
This is one of the most intact forts I've seen in the game. Like, this one is hardly broken, in my opinion. Looks good. Maybe I'll explore it in the future. Sometimes there's that highway man. He jumps you right here. Ambushes you. Another ambush location. Those damn bushes. Never trust a bush. I got an axe with his name on it if he ever tries anything. I swear. Uh, anyhow. We're halfway there. And loot-wise, should I stop into the Odil farm? Why not? Let's do it. And then next episode, we will brew up even more potions and then sell even more and make sure to complete that quest and then we'll go straight to Skingrad after that. And we'll say goodbye to our friend Earthor. After that, what do I do? I think the right call would be to resume the, the Thieves Guild stuff. It may slow us down when it comes to leveling, but I think it's the right idea. Actually, no. No, that's not the right idea. I think we should focus on level grinding, actually. If we hit level 25, then we can start focusing on getting 100% in damage absorption. And once, or no, reflect damage. That's what we want. We want 100% in reflect damage. And then we can do the Oblivion Crisis. And once we spawn all those Oblivion doors, we'll start farming up those Sigil Stones. We'll get our character kitted out, and then we will do the, the Thieves Guild at some point after that. I think that's the right call. If we dedicate just a few episodes to the grind... Oh, whoa, you actually showed up! Then, uh, yeah, we can definitely get the invincibility required for an easier time in this hardest difficulty playthrough. Okay, let's make some stuff. Yeah, definitely make a, a feather potion again. Where are you? There it is. Sweet cake as well. And let's remove this. Let's use these watermelons and pumpkins. Where are you? Two. That should do for now. Once we... Wait, what? Really? I didn't drink the potion. Dirt. Airhead. Wasn't paying attention. Okay. There's also a uh, sword connected to that farm. You probably already know if you've played Oblivion yourself. And maybe I should pay attention to how it scales, because sometimes in this game, if you level up and you're like, oh, I'm a super high level, the scaling's probably already at its best potential um, uh, bracket. It actually doesn't always work like that in this game. Sometimes, like, the level 14 version is better than the level 15 version. Don't know why, but that's just how it is sometimes. Okay, we finally made it. Earthor is coming over the hill, right? At some point. I can't believe that we just left him there, in the marsh, like that. And then, when we come back to see him, we already have a bandit, and we're already screaming for his help. Kind of pathetic. Yes. Hey, it's good to see you. Okay, well, I had a good time recording this episode. Hope you had a decent time watching it. But, yeah. In the next episode, we get even stronger, without a doubt. We will be pushing our limits. I think I will dedicate the episode to a early quest accomplishment, and then the rest is going to be level up grinding until eventually we get to we get two more levels in intelligence, and then we get three levels in endurance. I think that's the right call, and then we can focus on different things after that, be it side quests and speed gain and all that. So I think that's the right call. So until next time, here? I've been Viquinox. Thank you for watching.